Happy, happy Tuesday. I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. Let's go ahead and get to our reading. I will pull an oracle card and go from there. If you have never been to my channel before, I do not take jumpers. I wait for my guides and angels to tell me the cards are in the order that they need to be in. And while bad things do sometimes happen, I will always try to find a positive outcome. And yes, I do do personal readings. You can find the information in the description below. There is a link to my website. I'm also going to be running some promotions for midsummer, I do believe. Pay attention. Heightened awareness. See the signs. Spirit guidance. Yeah. The messages are coming through loud and clear right now. Remember that. That heightened awareness, right? See the signs. The spirit's talking to you. Pay attention, all right? Remember, they want to catapult you forward. Let's go ahead and get our Earth Oracle for the day. Always pay attention to the signs. Grace. Yeah. Grace comes in all forms. Remember to receive it and to give it. Because it really is grace that we live by and that we should show always to others. All right? Remember that grace. And speak your truth. About the divine love that you feel within your heart. Well, that's um, a unique perspective today. I think that's a great reading because when we speak that truth about the divine love that we feel and that comfort that we feel as we sit within our spirit and we speak to that higher self and we draw it down to us, when we sit there in it and we feel it and we know that's true grace, that's a truth that's unbeatable. It truly is. All right, let's go ahead and get an ancestor card. Yeah, you just have to pay, keep paying attention and allow that grace to flow as you speak your truth. We know we're loved. That divine love, never ending. True, unconditional, agape love. There's something to be said for it. Yes, it's very humbling. It is. We realize just how much you're loved. The Holy One, yeah, inspiration. When when you sit and you sit with that grace and you and you speak your truth and that divine love, you are truly being guided by the Holy One, the divine, that never ending love that we feel that we can always go to when we need that inspiration or we need that feeling of comfort and we just need to have rest or we have a problem and we bear our hearts and our souls to the universe, to that divineness, to that Holy One. And the signs will come back. Just pay attention. The answers are there. And just remember, it's by grace, okay? And they do want me to pull this card and show it. The grandfather card. His presence, Grandfather Sky. He's been with us forever. If you want to look at it that way, I know it's Native American. I do believe Grandfather Sky is Native American. Um, but it's so true. I mean, unless you had a true grandfather to show you the way. I did not. No, I knew neither of my grandparents. Um, my grandfather died when I was very young on my mother's side. And my grandfather on my dad's side, I don't remember at all. Just a vague picture of him and a parrot. Yeah, so everything I say, I refer to the earth or the moon, the stars, and the sky. And it's because I didn't have those things in my life to teach me how to live and to be human. I had to learn this from my Father in heaven. The earth, the moon, the sky, the stars, the ground beneath our feet. Our feet. Uh, there are reasons why I speak the way I do, and I just want you to understand that. I mean no offense to anybody about anything. All right, let's go ahead and get our mythical goddess cards today. Yeah, 
Isis, the Egyptian goddess, shamanism, Native American. They all speak so loudly to me. Um, the power of our dreams. I actually, somebody in another video was talking about his dreams and I actually want to comment and tell him how I feel what his dreams meant and to let him know that it was okay that the dog came to visit to remind him that he is truly loved and has been a loyal person his entire life and the friend that came to visit him in his dream and his dear and his hair was reminding him to play. I just wanted him to do that, but I I didn't and I digress. Let's get back to our reading. Okay. I did want to do it though. I did. I did. But hey, you know, we each have our own life to live, right? And he's a very spiritual person. I'm not sure he needs my input on that. Alright. Here we go. Mythical goddess cards. Yeah, they sing to me. They really do. The mythical goddess cards, absolutely. They just sing and sing, really, already. Okay. The undertone of pleasure. Well, alrighty, then that sounds perfect. Pleasure comes in many forms and we should all enjoy life. Truly, we should. Alright. So, let's go ahead and go, shall we? Our mythical goddess cards. Childlike consciousness. And yes, absolutely. Remember that we can go with our childlike consciousness to the divine, right? to enjoy this world in which we live, which, which we're here to enjoy as they bring us home and fill us with light and love and grace, right? For everything, truly connected. Just remember, believe in everything, believe in your dreams. And then remember, set your intentions. The new moon is coming. Remember, and do it with that childlike innocence, you know, bring that love down to us, right? Set those intentions, get rid of that limiting beliefs, get rid of that stuff that's holding you back, okay? Set your intentions with the spirit, all right? And yes, Isis is here, the high priestess who cheated death and brought her husband back, all right? Isis, who is near and dear to my heart, the Egyptian goddess, um... All-knowing, all-powerful, believe in your dreams. The Egyptians use dreams to heal and to send messages to one another and to gain inspiration and guidance from the Spirit. And I pray that if you don't understand it, look into it. Allow your dreams to come because they truly are telling. They truly are. They can be prophetic and so healing. Please listen to your dreams. They truly are. I know I want to go tell that friend of mine, I want to go comment on his video. Be like, yo, dude, this is what your dreams were about. But I'm not really sure that's my place to do that. All right, let's get these other cards. Manipulation. Yeah, see, so this card is talking to me because I feel like we can almost be like manipulative to try and tell him what I felt about his dreams when he wasn't asking for advice. Right? Now, he doesn't need that in my life. And yes, we are all like marionettes at times for the universe and the divine love when we get out of their way. All right? But is it really a bad thing? Manipulation isn't always bad. Just saying. Get out of the way and let the universe push you forward. They're not manipulating you. They're not controlling you. You do have your free will. I promise you. But just get the fuck out of the way and let them do what they want to do. All right? Let them push you forward, catapult you forward into this new universe, this new world that they have set aside for you, that nothing you've ever seen before, the gloriousness of their love and your surroundings and how everything changes when you allow yourself to be guided by the spirit 
and to believe in your dreams. Just pay attention, okay? I promise, I promise, not manipulation. It is a, a static union, absolutely. When you realize how loved you are, when you realize when all your chakras, when, when they're all aligned and you clear them out, like I've been talking about with the new moon and that peridot or peridot, if you will, that will help align your, your solar plexus and heart regions, right? The, the solar plexus and the heart chakra right here. Clear them out. Allow the love and abundance to come. Yes, I did just stumble. I know because it's the solar plexus does a lot of things, but you need to keep it cleared, okay? We're just going to leave it with that. And there is very much an aesthetic union when everything aligns. You know, that friend of mine I talk about, he talks about Kundalini awakenings all the times and the signs of ascension and, and the energy. And when all those chakras align, it truly is a beautiful thing. And when you realize just how glorious it is and you can continue to clear as they become blocked and you take on so much energy, when you release it and you're aligned again, it truly is back to that ecstatic union, right? Of that divine love and nurturing and all that comfort that comes from Mother Earth, from Gia, right? All right, and oh look, when we do that and we step out of the way of the universe, we have success. How awesome is that, right? So just remember, set your intentions, move forward, don't allow it to come back. Just allow the universe to use you the way you, you were meant to when you were brought here at birth, all right? Just, just let it go, I promise. All right, we're getting one more ancestor card. I know. We have great guidance today. Step aside. Let us do our job. It's time to change. It's time to move you forward in your spirituality, not in your path of enlightenment. It's time to raise your vibration inside and out just a little bit more. Expand that consciousness just a little bit more. Keep believing. Keep looking. You're going to see it. I promise. Obviously, this card must be coming for you, whoever you are. Let's see what your card is, what somebody's trying to say. Air, breathe, yeah. Take a pause. Uh, they're going for it again, but please take a pause. Take a moment. I've been, I've been saying it in all my videos. Stand tall with confidence. Put on your crown. And stay sweet inside like a pineapple. Just move out of the way. Take pause. Breathe. Let that air come deep down into you. When you breathe it in, let it fill your heart center. Feel all that divine love going throughout your body. And then just exhale. And just breathe. And just know you are love. You truly are. Just Step aside and let the universe do what it needs to do, okay? Oh my goodness. All right, let's go for an Earth Magic card because they, you know, somebody has something to say. Like they haven't said enough already today. Jeez, I love my angels and guides. I love them so long. They make, they make me happy. They really do. Oh, okay. They keep me very happy, my angels and guides. They really do. And my fairies. I love the face so much. I really do. When you enter that world of fae, oh my goodness, you're just going to freak out. So many things are possible. So much love. So much beauty. So much power. So much grace. Vigilance. Absolutely. Stay vigilant. You betcha. Just like our angels and guides do. Stay vigilant. Stay tall. Remember who you are. Claim that power. Stand in it. Put on that crown, okay? Stand in it and step aside. Ancient healing wisdom. Yeah, you're, you'll see. You'll get a real good idea of who my guides are. The ancient healing wisdom. Absolutely. Set your intentions. Travel. Listen to your guides. 
right? Allow the universe to use you, please. Seek that wisdom, that Native American healing wisdom of the Grandfather Sky and Mother Earth and Father Sky and Grandmother Earth. That ancient healing wisdom that allows us to travel and to get the messages that we need to heal our hearts and the hearts of others and heal the wounds of the universe. And remember, dream time, creation, when we are in our dreams and whether it's a lucid dream or we are astral projecting or traveling to other places, please remember that in our dreams we can create our realities. We truly can. Whether it's through lucid dreaming or daydreaming, that it does create our realities. Remember that and use that dream time to nurture your heart and soul and your spirit. Okay, and remember karma. DNA, ancestral DNA um, that lives within all of us when we tap into that ancestral DNA um, of the universe and we look into that and we start changing at the cellular level all the wrongs that have been for generations possibly all the way back to the beginning of time when we heal those wounds then we see when we work on healing those ones and understand that that's where all of our pains are coming from. We're here to learn and to grow and to heal her. That's what we're here for. Keep healing inside every time you change something. Every time you change a patch of darkness into light, you heal her, you heal yourself. And more light comes into the world and we need that light. We really do, yeah, they're on roll. Rebirth, <laughs> absolutely. This new moon, when you set those intentions to let go, then the next full moon comes. Rebirth, after we step the fuck aside and we allow the universe, we come through new, better, more resolved, more in alignment with our true purpose. Remember that, okay? You have to remember that. And then, yeah, they're going for it. Remember to emerge as the new you and not to allow the old to come back, okay? Remember to emerge. All right, and shine. Just shine. Let your love shine. Be the radiant star you are, okay? Just shine with that divine love. It's okay. You know, we, if we all just shine, people see that glorious glow coming from us. They're going to wonder what the hell it is, and they're going to want some at some point, so you just keep shining, okay? And harmony, to always be in harmony with the universe, all right? To live our lives in harmony and in balance, yes. Actually, it's my granddaughter's name, too. I love her so much. The whole pineapple reference came from her, but harmony, to live in harmony with the universe, it, it truly is important to beat to the rhythm of our soul and our heart. It truly, truly is. And yeah, there's two cards here, so. Oh, it's a submerge card. I guess you could look at it that way. You could submerge a bit during this tumultuous time, and I think that is the appropriate word. Um, but get the peridot and hold on to it and just stand tall. You don't have to shrink away. You don't have to hide yourself. You don't have to submerge away. You can sink a little bit if you want, but... The divine is here and they're going to pull you through anyway, okay? I promise you, they're going to pull you through anyway. So try not to shrink away, all right? Don't give up, not now. Let's get our moon card. You're a beautiful soul. You truly are. Glorious and divine and always. They love you so much. You'll see. You are very close to achieving your goal. That's awesome. I think that is awesome. You're finally going to realize and understand your true purpose. What your heart's calling is. What you feel your life's purpose is on this planet. No matter what stage of life you're in. Whether it's the beginning, the middle, or the end. That is so awesome that you're going to achieve your goals. I think that's splendid. I really do. 
And just remember and continue to remember, don't let your past hold you back. I know I went really slow, right? But it's true. Don't let your, your past hold you back. Your past is what made you who you are. I can celebrate that shit. No matter what you went through, no matter how hard it was, it made you the person you are today and you need to stand tall and proud. Damn pineapple reference. That's not going anywhere. Uh, please don't let your past hold you back. Use this time of Leo. Grab that passion and hold that confidence. All right. Use the fire that's burning in your soul and in this transition and just let go, man. Just don't let that past hold you back. If anything, use it and use it and use it and, and know that, yes, your hard work is definitely paying off okay it is everything that you're doing everything that you're believing and you're trying in your everyday life to move yourself forward is is working and now it's time to step aside just a little bit and just take a pause and you know allow the the universe to move you forward okay all right let's get our healing energy yep love my angels love my guides yeah. Time of change. Like a butterfly. Right? Emerge beautiful, victorious. Spread your wings and fly. Come out of your cocoon. We all are going to. It's the time of season. Staying tough. We will emerge victorious and beautiful. At the end of this change, I assure you. All right. The divine fruit. As I work to improve and free myself, I strengthen my foundations. My intellect is light, my heart is warmth, and my soul is strength. I am nurtured by the divine sun. The fruit I bear reflects my inner light. Well. Hell yeah, let's go for that. I always want to reflect light. I don't like it. If I look angry, I don't like being upset. I really don't. I don't like to waste my energy on that. Um, it's just better to give it away and give it back to God and the universe. I mean, there's just no reason getting upset over the little things, you know, that's going on in our life. Just give it to God and move on. Share his love, you know. Yeah, they're pulling the bottom card, I know. Okay. Yeah, it's all about the path to light, isn't it? It is. To catapult us forward on our path, to ascension, our path to enlightenment. I make the conscious choice to move forward towards the light one. Step one at... Ah, sorry about that. Let me, re let me do that over. There goes my stuttering again. Yeah, it happens sometimes when my brain starts going too fast. The path to light. I make the conscious choice to move towards the light one step at a time. I transform my weaknesses into strengths by mastering my thoughts. I overcome obstacles with positivity and acceptance. I develop my gifts and extend my light to every being unconditionally. And it's true. And I'm just going to tell you. All right. So remember my whole eye, right? Looking better. It's a little sore. I got a little bump going on. Um, but... I had mentioned about grace and compassion in, in this group or app that I use and I, you know, somebody automatically assumed that I was in a violent situation, domestic violence, that I had been hit and I needed to remove myself from this situation because I said that I had compassion, right, and forgiveness for the person who helped me to the ground. However, they assumed to make an ass out of you and me, because that's all assumptions do, right? When you assume to make an ass out of you and me, um, they just assumed it instead of looking at who I was and asking what could have happened because at the time I thought it was malicious. I didn't know that it was just a drunken stupor that got me to the ground. You know, I mean, it was an accident, but at the time it happened, I didn't know that. And I needed to forgive that, right? I mean, I could have continued to be angry when I, you know, when, when it happened to me, but what good does that do, right? You need to find that compassion and that forgiveness for everything. 
And then I, you know, I responded and I told him about my video, right? I said, this is who I am. Check this out, right? You, you just have it backwards. Please find out who I am and don't assume. And, you know, I, I let them watch this video. And, oh my God, I'm digressing, aren't I? I totally lost my fucking thought. Um, oh, right, because I had posted that... Um, about the compassion and forgiveness and I didn't post that that I had found out later that it was an accident that the person was inebriated and I don't even know if I said inebriated um, I just said I found out it was an accident you know and I still had to forgive you have to forgive the drunkenness right you have to give the wounds that are within that person right because that's what caused it to happen. They're fighting a battle, just like I am, just like you are, just like we all are. And you have to have compassion and forgiveness for that. It's not their fault. They're hurting inside. And you know, and that's what I mean by find compassion and forgiveness for everyone, for everything. It wasn't his fault. It was an accident. But you have to show compassion to the drunks, to the addicts, to everyone, the winos, the bums, if you can't show compassion for the ones that truly need it, who are you showing compassion for? They're the ones who need the most compassion, the most kindness, the most forgiveness, to be shown what forgiveness truly is. And when you speak from your heart about those things, oh, it just shines and wakes the whole world up. And that's what we need. And that's what I mean about kindness, compassion, and forgiveness in all things. All right. Yeah, no, we, I don't think we need any more cards. Oh, they want a fairy blessing. Well, you know me, I'm not going to argue with that one. Let's end the day with a fairy blessing, or not the day, the reading. Yeah, I know, I went off on a tangent again. It happens. You know, but some things touch my heart near and dear, and I, and I really don't like people to assume things. That, you know, you need to look at it with your heart and try to figure out what's going on, not make assumptions. Because how can you truly help someone if you don't listen and you don't ask questions? You can't just make assumptions. Kind of like me with my friend and his dreams. Right? With the dog and the old friend who came to him in his dreams. Who am I to tell him what it means? I'm sure he has a good understanding. Unless he wants me to tell him. Right? But it's not for me to assume that he doesn't understand. Did I cut these? Oh my god, I don't remember if I fucking cut these cards. But they're saying pull it, so I'm pulling it. A blessing of belief. All right, I'll shuffle them and recut. But a blessing of belief, and that's perfect because when the fairies give you a blessing of belief, trust me, it's powerful as can be. You're just going to start believing in everything and you just have to accept it, okay? Now, I'm going to take this belief card, I'm going to put it back in and we're going to reshuffle, okay? Because I don't remember shuffling. So we're going to do it again. Or maybe they're just trying to like get me to pull two cards. Yeah, my angels can be quite unique. And my fairies. Keep me on my toes. Alright, here we go. Blessing of belief. We'll take it. Oh my gosh. Blessing of aim. Oh, that's glorious. Let that speak to your heart. I'm not even sure I need to tell you what it means. Look with your heart. Let your eyes take in that image and bring it down to your heart and feel the warmth and the love that surrounds you as you breathe in and exhale. Now oh, that is truly glorious. Wow, and a blessing of connection. Yeah, they're going for it. Wow. A blessing of connection. I don't really need to tell you what that means, do I? I'm going to read both these cards for you, though. But I just want you to look at the imagery. 
See what it means to you. Let the angels, the fairies come to you and guide you to what you think this means. Just by looking at the card, what message do they have for you? Yeah, well, I believe that you can. So let's go ahead and let's pull out the fairy book. Yeah, I dropped a card down here. Oops. Put that right back and let's go ahead and read. Now I do not have my new glasses yet. It makes it a bit of a challenge, but it's okay. All right, here we go. Let's read. Number nine. A blessing of Aine. Or Aine. However you want to pronounce it. I'm not particular. The fairy gift of physical innocence. The blessing of knowing your body is your own. The source of gladness and enjoyment. The fairies now bless you with the restoration of your innocence, that sense of being completely cleared of any guilt or dissonance around your body and your right to have completed sovereignty over your physicality. Your body belongs to you, fairy friend. It is yours to share or to hold to yourself. It is your choice to take lovers, to be free of all commitments or to explore. It is your choice. And as long as you follow that magical principle of do no harm, you may do as you will. Let all your choices come from a healthy place. <clears throat> Let your sharings be nourishing and wild, freeing and glorious. Let intimacy grow. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yet freedom, let intimacy grow, yet freedom remain. And let none ever make you feel ashamed of your choices regarding your own beautiful body. Be with whom you wish, do as you will, but and ye harm none. Let yourself know that the gift of physical sharing or the joy of the body is to be fun from this time forth without shame. Let the fairy goddess Hine clear from you any residual fears around this anatomy and protect you from any forms of manipulation. You are blessed and whole and without sin. You are a child of nature, of the earth, and your physicality is blessed and beautiful and clean with pure flowing moonlight. <clears throat> I'll have you look at it again. Like I said, feel the warmth that surrounds you, the beauty, the love, the warmth as if a blanket. All right, let's go ahead and read the next one. The blessing of connection. I love fairy. All right. The fairy gift of interactions with the natural world and with humanity, where we feel we have a true place. <clears throat> this blessing is a fairy gift that of deep connection with affinity with the world around you. There will soon be a new friendship or contact or being. <coughs> you have to excuse me a minute. It's the COVID crap coming up. I'll be right back. Oh, my apologies for that. Yes, I'm still healing from COVID. And sometimes it's just, um, it's a rough breathing morning where things have to, you know, take place and be fixed. Okay. The fairy gift of interaction. So where were we at? All right, I'll just read it over. The blessing of creation. The fairy gift of interactions with the natural world and with humanity where we feel we have a true place. <clears throat> this blessing is a fairy gift that of deep connection and affinity with the world around you. There will soon be a new friendship or contact or being who enters your world with whom you seem to have a great and natural understanding despite your differences. And this can be between two people and a bond crossing cultures, locations, customs, or between animals and human, creating warmth and love and beauty and companionship, or between yourself and the fairy world, allowing you to feel enlivened, strengthened, emboldened, and able to sense all about you their presence. When you take this place, you feel a true part of the planet and the world. You feel a sense of belonging and being at home 
with this blessing, you are so very comfortable and at ease for, for, for perhaps the first time in a long time. You are accepted and cared for, heard and truly listened to. And there will be friendly interactions with this beautiful blessing of the Fae when it comes to you to be with you. When the Fae comes to be with you, enjoying the interaction and the renewed sense of being at home within a world of nature. Well, amen, right? You can't ask for better for that. And I, I urge you, I encourage you, please allow the Fae in. Please look at it as a blessing and just remember gracefulness, humbleness. Allow them to teach you. Allow them in. When you hear the spirits call to you, the flower, the water, the earth, the blades of grass, when you feel them calling you to come play, to teach you, listen to them. It's the fairies. There is a spirit in everything. All the elements in this world are guarded and guided and protected by the fae. Allow them in, allow them to speak to your heart. Bring it into your heart always, breathe in. Deep breath, all the love and joy into your heart and exhale. I promise you it's all real. Love and light, bright blessings and namaste.